Have you ever felt like you had your sights set so high on victory and success that when you felt like it was time for you to succeed, when you uploaded that first video, when you published that first book, when you sent that car out and you felt like you were going to succeed or when you closed your first sale and you failed, something went wrong or you lost or whatever it may be, that sometimes failing is actually winning. And I know what you're saying to yourself, Zachary, back the frig up from the camera and explain to me. Because what I wanted to say is refraining your mindset is always going to lead to victory over failure. And let me explain how. See, over this past, month. I've had a lot of time to read and one thing I've been reading is Dante's The Divine Comedy, a fantastic book about Dante and his journey through hell on his way to heaven. <laughs> There's a quote here and I'm going to depict it in a way. Dante's lost his way. He's in a forest. He doesn't know where he's going, but he knows on this path that he's following, he can see the mountains, he can see the hills, he can see the light because he's in a dark forest. But as he's walking up the crest of this hill, he meets a lion, he meets a leopard, he meets a she-wolf, and he's forced back down the hill. And we can depict this as he's seeing the light. Dante's in a forest. He knows where he's going because he's following a path. But as he's traversing the mountain, as he thinks he's getting to that point where he needs to be, where he can see the light, as he's climaxing, as we can think about it, as you're closing a sale, as the person's jotting down their name, their number, their information, their sin, their, their credit card number, or maybe you're sending that car out thinking it's good. We could depict that in that way. You think it's going to happen, but he meets the leopard. He meets a lion and he meets a she-wolf. And one thing he says on his way down is, and like a man whose mind is on his winnings, when the time comes for him to lose and all his thoughts turn into sorrow and tears, Interesting, isn't it? See, we set, our, we set our expectations so high, and I'm not one to separate myself from this conversation. I expect good results for myself. I expect perfection every time I sit down and record videos, which can be extremely frustrating at certain times. May I submit to you today that sometimes what you need is a refrainment on your thoughts, is reflection on your thoughts, and is how can I change my mindset on what I'm thinking right now? Michael Jordan said it perfectly. They said, Michael Jordan, You've been beaten. Michael Jordan said, no, I ran out of time. But it's just that mindset that can help change your outlook on life. Just a tiny refrainment from thinking that I lost to they ran out of time helps the mind go, okay, wait, I didn't lose. I just ran out of time, so I won. And you can see how quickly you can refrain from thinking negative to positive. And is there any reason why some people see more success than others? I highly doubt that cer certain people are out there saying that I failed, I failed, I failed. While it's very easy for us to fall into that certain trap, the people who are extremely successful, there has to be something that separates them from us. Well, I would argue the fact that maybe it's courage. What I want to submit to you today is failure is success. See, what I touched on in my last video on the heart of darkness is that when people pray for success and when people pray for riches, and I fell into this trap too because I knew that I wanted to be somebody and I pray about it continuously. I pray for the day that I can quit my job and pursue this 100% of the time. But what people don't realize is sometimes they need to have those times where failure is inevitable. And what I mean by that is sometimes the story isn't impactful and sometimes the story you're looking for and sometimes the person you want to be isn't the person isn't the person that won all the time. Isn't the person that succeeded all the time. It's the person who got beaten down and rose again. It says in the Bible that the righteous man falls seven times, he gets up again. You know, discouraged by failure. I found myself into this trap a lot when I started my trading journey, when I started my journey into becoming my own independent man and becoming somebody I wanted to be. I was always discouraged by success and I was growing up all the time too. I felt like everything should be going my way. And that's what led to a lot of disheartening things with sports is that I felt like everything should have been going my way. And when things didn't go my way. It was poor me, poor me, poor me, poor me. How do you overcome discouragement? How do you say to yourself that, mm, okay, something wrong has happened in my life. How can I become better? And that's going to be something you need to work out for yourself. You know, how can I refrain that? Because what works for me isn't going to work for you. One thing I think people get wrong, especially when they start something, or one thing I think people get wrong when they first initially do something, is people don't realize that things can go bad. And I know if you look back on my videos previously, I say that you kind of have to live in a little bit of a delusional world, which I still do suggest that you live in some delusion, because you're going to have to. But I would argue the fact that the whole encompassing part of delusion is to realize the polar opposite of things, is to realize that there's not an up without a down, there's not a left without a right, there's not a success without failure. So if we can think about the highly successful things, we have 
have to think about the high likelihood of us failing. And I think if you can set, and Andrew Tate said this beautifully, but this was about stress and the stress you can handle. He said, set a clear defining goal on how much stress you can handle and work off of that. If you want to become highly successful, know that you're going to have to partake in a lot of stress. Understand that the stress you're going to have to deal with is a lot. And if you can't be clear with yourself on how much stress you can handle, then why partake in something that's high stress? Understand that sometimes setting clear intentions and setting clear goals and being honest with yourself, and that's okay, being honest with yourself and saying, I can't handle that, then you know what you want and you know what you can go after. If you can't handle failure, if you can't handle sometimes looking like a fool in somebody else's eyes, if you can't handle people scrutinizing your ideas, if you can't handle the idea of your friends not liking you anymore because you failed or you're, you're, you're losing all your money and possibly having to foreclose on your home, if you don't like the idea of having to re someone else repossessing your car, if you don't like the idea of sleeping on somebody else's couch, if you don't like the idea of all these other encompassing thoughts of failure, then why would you go after a certain thing? That's the clear intention. What is the thought behind it and how can I become better? How can I actually set intention on what I want to do? And I'm highly suggesting you today is that set the intention. Before you start something, say to yourself, what am I willing to risk? What am I willing to lose and how much am I willing to lose in order to achieve this success? Because if you're not willing to get your car repossessed, if you're not willing to look crazy in somebody's else, somebody else's eyes, if you're not willing to see $10,000 lost in 30 minutes, then are you really willing to see success? Or are you just hoping and wishing upon a star thinking that everything's going to be roses and dandelions? Because I'm here to tell you sometimes it's not. And as much as I want it to be, as much as I want things to go my way, they don't all the time. And I'm sure you can relate. So if you want to become a better version of yourself, one thing I highly suggest you do is go down below and hit the subscribe button on the Self-Improvement Lab community. We're group of individuals who are all trying to become better versions of ourselves. And when one person gets better, the next person gets better. So if you see somebody else succeeding, well, that means that you can't help but succeed. It costs you nothing. It's free. It would mean the world to me if you could just down, go down below and hit the subscribe button. Even if you don't want to watch another video, it doesn't bother me any. But what matters to me is if you go down below and hit the subscribe button. Everybody, thank you so much for tuning in. This has been the Self-Improvement Lab. My name's Zachary. God bless.